You clicked on this video, which means you want to win more games and you're willing to make use of a disgusting opening that is deliberately designed to destroy weak players. Be warned as some of the moves might be disturbing. I'll show you exactly how to make use of mathematics to hunt down weak players, specifically weak players. This is not to be used against Magnus Carlsen. It's specifically made to destroy the weak and only the weak. It's the apex predator of all the openings. The way this works is simple. I took a look at the Leech S database and did the math for you because I'm so kind and generous. I filtered all the moves by 600 to 1400 low. Then I picked a move for white and the most common response for black. Then I picked the best move for white again and the black move that is the most likely to be played. I did this all the way to checkmate. Now we know the best white moves and the most common black responses. Surprisingly, the mathematically perfect low elo game is checkmate in just 9 moves. If you follow these steps, the most likely outcome is literally checkmate in 9 moves. Literally the most likely. If you're not interested in winning, you can watch stupid videos now. However if you're interested in learning a morally questionable step-by-step -step guide to harvest the elo of poor innocent chess players, please give me your full attention. Play e4 and the most common low elo response is e5. Knight f3 knight c6, get your bishop out, congratulations you're an Italian citizen now. There are two normal moves, bishop c5 and more commonly knight f6. Here you attack with the knight, confusing them already by threatening to fork the queen and the rook. 71% defend like this. You take in the most common move is to recapture with the knight. Now trust the science because you need to sacrifice your knight. It's called the fried liver attack. And pretty much everybody takes the knight. Now execute your evil plan. Attack with the queen and the king goes back to e8. Now take the knight and this would be a checkmate. Next you get some tissues because this might make you cry. In the 600 to 1400 rating, 31% don't see the checkmate and play this. You just checkmate them. Another 5% play bishop to d7, which is checkmate again. Another 5% play knight before which is checkmate again. Another 4% play bishop c5 which is checkmate again. And another 4% play bishop d6 which is, you guessed it, checkmate again. That's an overall 49% of people who literally don't see the checkmate and just die on the spot. Isn't that fun? But that's not it. 15% play queen e7. You take the knight and if they dare to recapture, you take the pawn, giving check and attacking the rook. That's just game over. If they don't recapture, you get a free knight and a ridiculously strong position. Another 9% take your bishop with a queen. That's a free queen. You just take it. Basically, we have a position that creates so many threats that the average low elo player inevitably fails to spot all of them. There are dozens of threats and all it takes is one mistake. The move that got us into this absolute madness of a position was king e8. If they play king to g8 instead, it's forced mate in 3 like this. If they played king e6, you're still in a strong position and I'll show you how to win this. But first, please appreciate the practicality of this opening. These are actually the most common moves in 600 to 1400 low. I'm giving you the mathematically perfect moves to systematically destroy your opponents. You owe me a sub for that. However if they actually know their moves and play king e6 after you attack with the queen, this is what you do. This knight is pinned, so you want to apply more pressure on it. You can do that by attacking it with your knight. They play either knight b4 or d4, defending the knight, but in every case they end up in a questionable position that will cause severe headaches because you triple attack a pinned knight. Have fun, but be aware, if you're trying to fried liver attack them and they play bishop to c5, abort the mission, otherwise you might end up looking stupid because this is a counter attack. If they bring out the bishop, just take a pawn like this and evacuate. Protect the pawn and play normal chess. Your position is still strong, unless you remembered everything. You have to rewatch the entire video now, or you can watch the opening tier list for more openings.